Okay, uh, maybe just a quick recap of what Puan Wan uh, has actually explained on behalf of Hasil. Uh, today, we come with an objective. Uh, we come with an objective. We wanted to actually promote um, healthy competitions yeah, when it comes to doing businesses, etc., etc. Uh, why we talk about healthy competition, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you must understand that uh, if your competitor is actually not paying taxes, Okay, so in some sort, in their pricing strategies, right, they may somehow be seen to be in slightly more advantage than you. So under that situation, right, it will actually entice a very different environment in terms of business. Then should I actually go under a situation whereby I am not paying taxes? Right, or should I be the whistleblower to blow my competitor out? Right, so so it is like this catch twenty two situation in all businesses' mind, or any freelancers' mind. So what uh, Hasil is actually trying to do is actually to to I mean to rebrand this, or should I call it now? We call it the shadow economy. Yeah? These are the 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 part of the taxpayers or individuals or companies who may not have reported their tax fully or their, their income fully, or they may not even be within the radar, right? So it's just like kids right? playing hide and seek. Right? They hide under the carpets. Right? Uh, they, they hide under their blanket and thinking that nobody can see, but actually you can see the little humps that coming out on that blanket. So um, while the hustle is actually doing all initiatives that they, they may to look into a much healthy um, business environment to all, I think we as a taxpayers, to begin with, we need to firstly report taxes, uh, as what highlighted by point one also at the end, that there are actually penalties attached to it. And these penalties um, can be hefty uh, and it's actually going to cost you um, unnecessary payout, I would say, right? So, okay. So the, the slide is actually very, very uh, comprehensive, I must say. Um, actually good to know that Hasil uh, is actually coming out with a list, I think the, just now the slide number 21, that talks about influencer, etc. And what has in the eyes of the lumbaga, what is categorizing as the definition of business already. So I think that would have answered some of our questions here. Um, while Puan Wan was actually explaining, you know, the, the uh, walk through the slides, I was also on the side trying to pay attention to what's actually in the chat room. Um, ladies and gentlemen, okay, when, when Shaika Ong was wanted to have this session, we also have our internal discussions because we were also uh, concerned about how were the chat room being managed now, right? A lot of people will take the opportunity to ask all sorts of text questions, right? Uh, unfortunately, one, one may be able to answer some and some may actually have to be handled by my team, okay? And some, maybe we will actually have to take it uh, uh, to be answered via a different platform. So some of those questions that we have there, um, I will get my team to firstly, um, how do you call, do a, do, do a quick uh, uh, summary. And then we handle those that we, we could actually maybe post over to one one first. And um, like how we always do our coffee on Zoom, yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Shai Ka Ong are determined to answer all your questions regardless, okay? Uh, for those of you who wanted to have the slides as well as the recording, generally the way that we do is we will, uh, as you can see, the, the Zoom session is being recorded. Uh, what we will do is we will do our editing, yeah, from, from there. We will pass to Hasil, yeah, to have a final look to making sure that Hasil is comfortable with the recording and the editing that we have. And then after that, uh, we will actually put it to uh, Shaika on YouTube. Yeah? So then you go to YouTube to actually have access to it and then re-listen to it yeah? together with your team, if you may. Okay. Now, it's just a thought that came into my mind uh, by going through some of the questions that was being posted. Um, I don't know whether it will be useful for my team you know, to uh, separately have another Coffee sessions, right? A separate one, uh, maybe uh, after Raya or whatever. I would like to actually hear from the from the um uh, from our participant today as well. Uh, whether you like something of that sort, whereby it is really we Shaka Ong team to answer some of your compliance questions. Because I look at the question the CP uh, 58, you know, like the magic card and whatever, uh, certain deductible issue, those are the things maybe tax agent will be able to handle. Uh, 
right? Um, uh, so I was wondering whether do you like that? You know, if you if if, if you think a session like that will be fruitful to help you, uh, well, this is the uh, a tax filing period. Basically, from now until December, until August, right? It's a tax filing period, right? Um, I will be more than happy to actually test the capability of my team also, yeah, Brown one. Test the capability of my team as well to see uh, whether uh, we can answer all the questions that is being challenged or posed, okay? So if you think a session like that will actually be useful, maybe you can just type for me uh, 333, yeah? 333 in the chat room so that we can actually just access, you know, whether do you like a session I like that? 333. <laughs> oh, but some people type 666. Uh. Wow, what is 666? I'm a bit worried now. <laughs> what does 666 mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, okay. Now, uh, we have 30 minutes, yeah, with Up One One now. Up One One is, um, I met Up One One from another, uh, um, how do you call it, sessions that both of us share. Yeah? It's also yeah. on on this uh, particular shadow economy and I really like how Puan Wan uh, put forward uh, her thoughts. So Puan, I just wanted to actually have some questions because we have received a lot of questions. We have received a lot of questions. Some is actually through the registration, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some was actually through when we are trying to promote this, this um, how do you call it? Should I call this part of Hasil Educational Roadshow? Huh? So the coffee on Zoom this time around is being uh, to to educate and to put forward the information. So we, we, we are, we are part of our AES program. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we are very proud of it. Yeah, we are very proud that, you know, like we are able to actually be one of this particular, uh, should I call it a e road show? Eh? This one is not with Chamber of Commerce, yeah. but e road show to the public. So uh, there are questions here and there while promoting, be appeal speaking to us and some that drop it through their registration. Now, there are questions like, for example, right? Um, you see, um, during the pandemic, you know, like maybe there are people start making losses, you know, uh, they, they, they are under the loss situation. So uh -huh. in their mind is, okay, I only report tax when, when, I, when I make profit. So when I am not reporting tax, okay, I mean, when, when, I, when I'm actually still in the losses, can I just ignore and don't pay or don't report so yeah, I just wanted to seek up one 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 your your thought on that. You know, when businesses are making losses, okay. they still need to submit. Um, right. So when we look at businesses, uh, we do know there are ups and downs. Uh, you may be making profit today, and you may suffer losses the next day. And losses making may be due to various reasons, such as miscalculation of asset purchase, forex loss of purchase from overseas, uh, drop in sales, and many more. Thus, losses is actually common in business setting, especially for startup companies. Okay, we have to refer back to our four pillars of compliance, tax registration, tax filing, tax reporting and tax payment. Okay, so tax pay, we need to comply to all these four pillars in order forward um, to become a high voluntary compliance country. So um, submission of return form is one of the pillar of compliance. So even though you are making losses in the year of financial period, you will still need to submit your return form as per due date, which is for form B, uh, the due date will be on 30th June. And for company, the due date will be seven months from the closing of your financial year. If losses are suffered in business, I would advise you to report and submit your return form because if you are making profit in the following year, you can always deduct your carried forward losses in your uh, continuing um, business transaction. Right, Ms. Agnes? Mm, okay, very, very good. Yeah, these are, you know, a, a lot of people didn't realize it. Huh? A lot of people didn't realize that actually even when you are already, um, should I say, um, already registered, should I say, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. you, you need to report regardless huh? until one day you do your clearance and maybe you uh -huh. suck up your number from the system. Huh? Uh, we hope we, that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Texas will need to be continued. Yeah. Uh. Right. Um, Okay, I have this question that was also being posed to us uh, uh, when doing the registration. What is the impact of taxpayers uh, who never report taxes and they wanted to come forward now? You know, like they are shivered about it. They wanted to be compliant now. But uh, what is the impact for those people who never submit tax before? 
Okay. Um, for people who has never submit tax before, right? Um, it's actually a matter of time. Because as I have mentioned and shared just now, we already have information of uh, tax payers and we are gathering all this data, our big data, and compiling this information based on our risk and uh, uh, risk analysis. So um, sooner or later, you, we will come and audit. But we always welcome high voluntary compliance and uh, we appreciate that taxpayer come forward and declare their tax as a responsible citizen. However, if you decide not to submit, HASIL will impose penalty if you fail to submit your return form, which the penalty may vary from, as I said, 15 to 40% based on our current um, tax audit framework. If you persistently fail to submit every year, you may also face legal action. Um, it's either um, through fines or eventually imprisonment, imprisonment, where we wouldn't want to see up to that level. Also, as for your reputation, okay, failing to comply with tax regulation may harm your company's reputation. It will give a negative image to the eye of your potential investors, to your um, financial capability if you need to make loans to the financial institution. And with the um, implementation of program of environmental, social and governance ESG, as um, shared by SC and Rusa, where it's a um, high level of governance within the company as well as SME. It's important to have um, governance in your tax reporting as well as tax payment. So it's, it, it falls back to your reputation. If you, and as if you miss the opportunity to submit your tax return, um, there are many benefits, incentive exemption that you may get if at a certain industry as uh, tabled by our government, especially during our yearly budget, where it could help you to reduce your tax liabilities. Okay, um, as long as um, you could cooperate and comply to our tax regulation, uh, file your return on time, all these benefits um, you could uh, deduct in your tax computation. Okay, however, if you're unsure how to comply with this obligation, I would advise to seek professional advice from your tax consultant or from any hassle office um, for our free consultation. Mm, thank you, Pon Wan.